For more than a decade, the Northern Medical Society has been advocating for better health care in northern B.C. Since a massive health care rally in the year 2000, the Society has championed a number of causes, including a medical school and cancer center. The next item on its wish list, expanding the university hospital. This is where the problem starts. Too many people wind up in the emergency room and stay there far longer than they need to as they wait for a much needed bed. If you're in the hospital and then you, in the emergency department, then you uh, are admitted to the hospital bed, you're going to wait a long time for that bed. That's why those patients are there in emergency. What will happen is you're waiting for this bed and eventually you find one. And a lot of times you're going to find out you're placed in a hallway or a converted lounge or in a bathtub room an inappropriate place. It's been many years since the then Prince George Regional Hospital saw any expansion. MLA Shirley Bond was not the MLA at the time, but she understands the society's wishes. In the recent wish list, obviously, uh, there, there is a desire to look at the capacity at the, at the hospital, and I absolutely agree with that. Um, we, whether that's a, a new hospital or an expanded hospital, those are all considerations that, that need to be made. But first and foremost, we need to do our homework. Last December, Northern Health launched a series of initiatives to increase capacity in the hospital, such as retrofitting the top floor of the Gateway Care facility. Currently right now, Northern Health is going through a master planning process for Prince George services, including at UHNBC. And that master planning process will tell us what services we can uh, expand, provide differently, what types of uh, different uh, uh, setups we might need within the hospital or outside of the hospital for that matter. Both Dr. Dave Nelson and Shirley Bond agree that whatever comes of a review of the hospital, healthcare delivery needs to look far into the future. This is the hospital for Northern British Columbia. So it's going to serve not a population of 70,000 people, but 300,000 people. They also have to take into account what Northern BC is going to do in the future. That is, if they build it for time A being right now, the population in 15 years is going to be different. We expect to see significant economic growth, particularly along the Highway 16 corridor. So I think it's timely that we assess current capacity, look at whether new capacity is necessary, and uh, we need to do a good job putting that proposal together. Bond says whatever the outcome, it will have to be a collaborative effort involving the medical community and government. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.